Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sean with the Sports Fury. So, obviously, you already knew this video was coming, guys. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck the NFL and Roger Goodell. Oh, my God. They're making me drink. Well, I always drink, but drink more. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, so let's get into it. Uh, the NFL's a piece of shit. Roger Goodell should be uh, stripped of his powers. Um, they're... They, I don't understand their logic. They have no consistency. They're idiots. They're pieces of shit. They're dumbasses. I, I, I can't even think of all the words. There's so many words I can describe Roger Goodell in the NFL right now and how I feel. Now, uh, today, obviously, y'all probably already know Ezekiel has been suspended six games for domestic violence. That's the only thing that can get you up to six games for the first offense. So they went full out six games with pretty much not much evidence to sustain their reasoning. Um... And I actually, you know what, I got this notification at work, I was heated, I was in my car, luckily I was at lunch, because if, if I was in my job, it would have been a different story. Me and I, my manager probably would have been like, calm down, I would have been pissed. But, you know what, um, I came home, I, I was going to record the video at work, but I get no reception over there. Um, so I came home, I did a little research, and I looked into it. So apparently... Um, the girl had some actual photo evidence, okay? Photo evidence of some bruises. And the bruises, they looked at her phone and saw that the pictures were taken on the exact days that she claimed that she he abused her. Now, okay, that might be alarming, right? That might be like, oh my God, maybe he actually did it, right? But, I, you know, it's funny is I was listening to the radio and I was listening to ESPN radio and hearing their reactions and, and kind of getting the breakdown. And they made a good point. You know what they told me? They said, most of the time, whenever a woman is abused domestically, like violence-wise, evidence she doesn't report it right away because they're so they're in shock, right? And they're kind of rattled. They don't take pictures. Usually, pictures are not taken for days or weeks later, right? That's typically the issue with domestic violence because most of the time, those like bruises will go away by then, right? Depending on the person. So. That's what's puzzling to me, okay? That's what's puzzling. And Ezekiel Elliott came out and told him, like, he sat down when they brought the photos to him, and he's like, no, these are all from uh, this incident. She fell at work. She fell down some stairs, this and that. Like, he has proof of it, like, stating, like, I have friends that saw this happen, right? Um, <clears throat> but the NFL didn't care. The NFL said, no, 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 no. It, it still looks like you beat her. Even though... The law enforcement, the DA of Columbus, Ohio, said there was not enough evidence to even submit charges, right? Because if there was any kind of question about it, I know it has to be without a reasonable doubt, right? But still, especially with domestic violence, typically they'll still take it if there's even a, a more than a 50% chance that it happened. And so they dropped all charges. You don't want to know why? Because of credibility. And that's what I'm not understanding why the NFL is not realizing. Her credit fucking ability is horrible. Like, literally, she lied and she got caught in the lie about saying that, oh, he pulled, dragged me out of a car. Uh, and then she even texted a friend and said, hey, can you lie to the cops about this, that he did this to me? And the cops went and interviewed her friend. And her friend's like, I'm not going to lie to the police about this. This is fucked up. And she, they told her, she told the cops the truth, her friend, and showed the text of her saying lie to them. <laughs> okay, okay, but yeah, we can still believe her with the other pictures, right? Hmm, I don't know. Um, and it's already been proved. The NFL even acknowledged that, hey, yeah, she lied about that. So where's the credibility in this? How can you trust anything she says? And when multiple witnesses have come out and said that if you break up with me, I will ruin your life and I'll ruin your career and I will tell them you hit me. Hmm, that sounds a lot like blackmail, guys which is against the law, but that's a different story. So how can you have any kind of credibility? How can you trust someone that comes out and says that, right? And why would you have to have someone lie and say he did something if any if anything was true, right? If you had truly evidence that sustained your allegations that he hit you, why would you need someone to lie? Doesn't make any sense. The NFL is stupid. Okay, and it's not even consistent with what they've done in the past. It doesn't make sense, you know. And I'm not even just talking about the Ray Rice incident all those years ago, which started this whole debacle over domestic violence regarding like how serious is the NFL about it, right? That put him in a lot of bad press. 
But just not even a year ago, right? Yeah, about less than a year ago, Josh Brown, the kicker for the New York Giants, who admitted, he came out and admitted he hit his wife. Multiple times. Multiple times, okay? But yet, guess how many games he got, guys? One. That's what's annoying to me. You know what? I could have understood if he got suspended two games, right? Because the whole issue with the, the parade when he pulled down that girl's shirt, the mystery bar fight that he supposedly he has nothing to do with, but, you know, he was still there. So I can understand two games because it's still it, – the NFL is all about the image, right? So I can understand two games. I've been fine with that, you know? Teach him a little lesson like, hey, man, <laughs> you got a little lucky, but, you know, stay out of the – stay out of the, the – the bad press. But no, they went full six games. And if I was Zeke Elliott, which he already had came out and said, I'm appealing, and hopefully this gets reduced. But what's stupid even about the appeal process is that Roger Goodell either assigns someone to review that from the NFL, or he will review the appeal. So the same guy that handed down the judgment might even review the appeal. That doesn't make any fucking sense in the world. And this is the biggest flaw with the NFL. Uh, Roger Goodell has way too much power. He can do whatever the hell he wants. And this needs to change. He needs to be stripped of those powers. They need to be have a board of multiple people, right? Not just one person making the decision. You can't have it that way. That doesn't make any fucking sense. And I don't understand it. You didn't suspend a New York Giant fucking kicker. You didn't suspend him more than one game when he admitted that he had beat his wife, but yet a guy that has a witness or allegations against him from a woman that has no credibility at all, that threatened to ruin his career because he was breaking it off with her because he's about to get he was drafted by the NFL by the Cowboys and he's trying to get away from his his like girlfriends in in Columbus, right? He's trying to cut ties with the loose ends, which you want to do with the dead weight when you're getting bigger and bigger. You want to cut ties and and get a little bit more serious people in your life. And you give her the power to actually affect his life. That, that, that opens up a door that should not be opened by the NFL. This means anybody can go and accuse someone and just, you know, maybe bruise, uh, bruise themselves, right? Go fall down or something and then take a picture and say, oh, yeah, he hit me on this day. Oh, the, the, I took a picture on the day, though. So anybody can do that? No witnesses? Nothing? I'm sorry. This does not make any sense to me. It's illogical. It's idiotic. It's stupid. I hate Roger Goodell. And I hate the NFL. I, I, oh, God, I'm so pissed. Oh, y'all should have seen me earlier. I was fucking heated. Oh, God. Mm. Thank God for Bud Light. This is, this is idiotic, guys. So, honestly, the next process is he's going to file an appeal. Uh, he has filed it within three business days. Uh, then after that, they have 10 days to actually uh, hold the hearing, I guess. Uh, then they could reduce it. Hopefully they reduce it down to maybe three, three games, two, three, four games. I'm not sure. I don't fucking know. He shouldn't even be suspended at all. But two games is what I would aim for. I would want two games at the most. Three games is pushing it. I, it's just idiotic. Because I, I don't. you're ruining a whole season for the Dallas Cowboys, which is your number one team in ratings. And I'm not just saying that as a Cowboy fan. But when they were on, they had the number one ratings rated games last year. Uh, and I'm not just saying that as a Cowboy fan. It's proven numbers, right? So you're hurting yourself just as much, Roger Goodell. You really are. And it's losing a lot of credibility for the NFL. And it's just idiotic to me. Uh, I'm, I'm really pissed off. It's stupid and... This guy literally just cemented himself as the worst, the worst commissioner of all time in all of sports. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure about all of sports because I don't follow every single sport, every commissioner, etc., etc., all over the world. But this guy's got to be up there. There's no consistency. There's no credibility with the NFL itself. It's just stupid. You suspend Josh Brown for literally one game when he admitted it. Uh, even Pac-Man Jones is not domestic violence per se, but Pac-Man Jones just recently got suspended two games, and he's a repeat offender. So he's been in trouble with the law since I can remember, since he first came into the NFL, right? And yet, he got in trouble again with the law, and he only got suspended two games. A repeat offender. 
That's ridiculous, okay? It's ridiculous. So, guys, tell me what you think. Does the NFL have any fucking sense? Does this make any sense to y'all? I don't know. I, I don't think so. But let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what you think. If you agree, you disagree. Uh, or if y'all heard something else different than me. Because th it just does not make sense to me. But, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, God. I, I, I don't even know what else to say, guys. I, I'm just going to drink my beer now. <laughs>